Let me start out by saying that I have thousands of hours in virtual reality. I've owned a Vive headset, moved on to a Quest 2, and eventually a Valve Index. I've also played hundreds of different virtual reality games, varying quality from AAA games to indie games. Hell, I even ended up making a video of my top 40 VR games. I'm not doing this as a weird flex, I'm just trying to paint the picture that I know what I'm talking about when it comes to the experience that is virtual reality. And while you might see some more inexperienced or newer people to the medium saying Metro Awakening is comparable to Half-Life Alex, I'm here to tell you it's not. Metro Awakening is boring. It is a linear, generic, first-person shooter that doesn't go anywhere and doesn't have any replay value. Before we get into the critiques, let's talk about what it does right. Pretty much everything to do with your character. I don't mean the character in the story, he was forgettable as hell. I'm talking about the interactivity that you have with your player in this world, namely the backpack. See, so many VR games will usually just have one or two items over the shoulder. Maybe they have that stupid backpack you've seen in the Walking Dead VR games. But in Metro Awakening, you can pick out your backpack and you can see all of the items on the backpack in a realistic fashion. You can pick all the items up off of the backpack, but so it doesn't end up getting cluttered with all of your different primary guns, it utilizes your hand placement to where your headset is. Namely, if you use your left hand to reach up and grab over your right shoulder, that's how you'll pick out a different backpack that shows all of your primary guns. Little things like this go a very, very long way. So many VR games get it wrong, this game gets it right. There's also an incredible spectator cam. There are not many VR games that have a spectator cam for recording. As a YouTuber and content creator, I very much appreciate that this is in the game. And that is about all the good things that I have to say about this game. So starting from the beginning, it's gonna take you about 40 minutes before you end up getting your hands on a gun in this game. Those 40 minutes are you walking down corridors and listening to characters talk. But the crazy thing is that this is basically the entire game. I'm not even kidding, about 75% of this game is just walking down corridors and listening to people talk. The other 25% of the game is you turning valves to open doors, or riding on a train and firing a turret for the 500th time. The only other highlights for me was a spider labyrinth moment. Oh, and you ended up going onto the surface into the snowy area, but that was like once at the beginning of the game. I'm not even kidding, you never go to the surface again. The story was also forgettable. It's not bad, but it certainly wasn't good. Overall, I think this is a game that I would recommend to people who have never played virtual reality before. Like if it's your first game, this is God tier. I still remember the first time I played virtual reality. I was blown away. But now that I've got my VR legs, so to speak, I can look at these games more objectively. And unfortunately, all Metro Awakening is going to equate to for me is another game I have under my belt. In a week, I'll have forgotten I even played it. Despite that, would I recommend it? Uh, yes and no, probably leaning towards no. This is a very expensive game with zero replay value. Even if you're trying to go for like all of the super hard achievements, my, my hat's off to you. I would not have the patience to replay some of this crap. But for the psychos that are trying to compare this to Half-Life Alex, it is no question Half-Life Alex is the best AAA quality VR game out there. Don't forget, Half-Life Alex has mods, like straight up modded custom maps. That is potential infinite content. But on top of that, it's got proper pacing like you would expect in, oh, I don't know, any good video game. Like the levels are constantly changing or introducing new mechanics. But with Metro Awakening, you've basically seen the entire game within your first hour of play. I was able to beat it in about five, maybe closer to six hours. And in my opinion, it's just not worth it. There's so many other VR games you could get for the same price, like Pavlov, Blade and Sorcery, or hell, for like 10 bucks more, Half-Life Alex. 